the Brindley Lawn Sweeper Assembly. Tip number one. Be sure to use the hardware panels called for in each step of the assembly. Note, at the end of assembly, you may have leftover parts. Tip number two. During assembly, you will need to shift the tires from the brush housing, pull apart the lower pivot and the brush housing. The required tools for assembly include a variety of wrench sizes, safety glasses, pliers, and a flat tip screwdriver. Step one, align the right toe tube and the left toe tube against the top of the brush housing. Attach the tubes using the hardware from panel one. Align the right toe bar tubing against the top of the brush housing and hand fasten with panel one bolts. Do not fully tighten the fasteners at this time. Now align the left tow bar tubing against the top of the brush housing and hand fasten with panel one bolts. Again, do not fully tighten the fasteners at this time. Hand fasten the right tow bar tubing and the left tow bar tubing with bolts, washers, and nuts from panel one. Do not fully tighten the fasteners at this time. Step two, hitch plate height measurement. Park your towing vehicle on a level hard surface and set the parking brake. Using a ruler, shown here provided in the manual, measure from the ground to the bottom of the rear hitch plate. Step three, using the rounded up inch measurement from the previous step, determine the correct clevis assembly. Hitch plates between seven inches and 10 inches have the clevis at the bottom of the bracket. Hitch plates between 11 inches and 14 inches have the clevis at the top of the bracket. Once the correct positioning has been determined, Attach the clevis assembly between the right and left toe tubes using the hardware in panel 2. Using a wrench, tighten all of the hardware used in step 3, 3 hex bolts and nuts, and step 1, 6 carriage bolts and nuts. Step 4. Using the hardware in panel 3, attach the hitch pin and the hairpin cotter to the clevis assembly. Step 5. Loosely add the bolt and lock nut from panel 4 to the height adjustment handle. Pointing the nut side out, slide the height adjustment handle into place against the lower pivot side plate. Use the head of the bolt to hold it in place while tightening. Make sure to tighten this hardware securely. Step 6. Run a bolt through the left toe bar using the following hardware from panel 5. Adding onto the same bolt, attach the lock arm using the hardware from panel 5. Do not over tighten the nylon lock nut. The lock arm should be able to pivot freely after assembly. Slide the vinyl bolt cap over the end of the bolt. Step 7. Attach the lock arm to the height adjustment handle using the hardware in panel 6. Note, for proper function of the sweeper height adjustment mechanism, it is important to assemble the hardware properly. Now attach the vinyl grips. The vinyl grips slide onto the lock arm and onto the height adjustment handle. Step 8. Use the hardware from panel 7 to assemble through the right toe tube. Make sure to tighten securely. Step 9. Assemble the hamper frame by inserting the first rear tube into the lower tubes. Important note, the holes should be pointing up. Make sure they're not upside down. Now lay these tubes in the bottom of the hamper along the inside edge. Now slide the second rear tube through the top of the hamper. Important, the additional holes will be pointing down. 
slide the side tubes through the side slots of the hamper and into the top rear tube. Step 10. Using the hardware in panel 10, assemble 1 3 8 inch nut on each end of the hamper stop rod until it is approximately in the center of the threads. Assemble each end of the hamper stop rod through the holes on the front of the upper side tubes and lower side tubes. Step 11. Using the remaining hardware in panel 10, Assemble one 3 8 inch lock nut on each end of the hamper stop rod. Hold the hamper stop rod with pliers while tightening the lock nuts. The upper and lower side tubes should be trapped between the nut and the lock nut on the hamper stop rod, but still loose enough to pivot freely. Hold the hamper stop rod with pliers while tightening the lock nuts. the tubes do not pivot freely, loosen the nut. Step 12. Pull up on the bottom of the hamper from the J-channel and hook the J-channel onto the hamper stop rod. Take the side flaps of the hamper around the frame and snap them to the bottom of the hamper. The flap should be on the outside of the lower side tubes after assembly. Step 13. Locate and align the holes in the upper rear tube with the side tubes. Then, locate and align the holes in the lower rear tube with the bottom tube. It's important that while you're executing this next step, you wear eye protection and gloves. Now, stand in the bottom of the hamper. Insert the end of the spring rod into the lower holes that you've just finished aligning. Pull up on the upper rear tube and insert the other end of the spring rod into the upper holes. The rod will snap into place when the bars are aligned. The spring rod will require some force to install. After installation, the spring rod will be slightly bent. Step 14. Using the hardware in panel 11, assemble the hamper mounts to the upper side tubes. Tighten the nylon lock nuts completely, and then loosen them enough so that the hamper mount pivots freely. Add the vinyl caps to the hamper mounts. Attach the windscreen to the hamper using the elastic straps on the ends of the windscreen. Step 15. Use the pin hardware in panel 12 while attaching the hamper to the brush housing. After this is complete, Detailed instructions for attaching the sweeper to your towing vehicle are available on page 15 in the manual. Tie one end of the hamper pull rope to the middle section of the upper rear hamper tube. Thread the pull handle onto the opposite end of the pull rope. Step 16. Extend the pull rope to the back of the towing vehicle to an area that will easily be accessible from the towing vehicle seat. This is the area that the pull handle will be attached. Allow the pull rope to slacken several inches. Tie two knots in this area of the pull rope and drag the handle towards the knots. Pull to secure their position on the rope. Cut and discard any excess rope below the two knots that were tied. Now you're ready to sweep with the Brindley Lawn Sweeper. Instruction manual can be found at brindley.com. For questions or concerns, please call 877-728-8224. Brindley, since 1839.